All right, all right, all right. Today is another Washaholic Wednesday. I'm Mike Kinderleiter, the Dean of Power Wash, and I'm here with Stefan Villanueva, my new operations manager for PowerWash.com, and we're going to demonstrate the new Mossmatic surface cleaner that does self-recovery, so you don't need a vacuum system for it. So I'm going to turn it around. First off, Stefan, do me a favor. Okay. Say hello to everybody. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? <laughs> Stephen Lloyd, a lot of experience, a lot of experience in power washing industry. He's been with me for several years. He's just now starting to run PowerWash.com, so you'll be seeing more from Steph. So I'm going to flip the camera around because I want to show you guys how this thing's work, how this works. So Stephen, why don't you pull the trigger on that uh, recovery? This is a 12-inch surface cleaner. We've got the vacuum hose hooked up to it. We're running five gallons a minute. So pull the trigger. Now lift it up off the floor so people can see it's actually, there you go. Now bring it over here, off of where it's not wet so people can see how it recovers. Go ahead and pull the trigger. It's running right now. Now move it around so, so you can see the wet. Yeah, there you go. That's it. You see it recovering. This thing is pretty slick. So basically what it is, is it's got the spinning nozzles in there, just like a service cleaner. But at the same time, this little part right here is just like the uh, sludge sucker. So it's, it's shooting water down through there and creating a vacuum at the same time. So it's pulling the water up off the surface. So now I'm gonna turn around, let's follow the vacuum hose so you can actually see the water that there is not a vacuum hooked up to this. So there's the water running out as it's running. Let me give you a full shot so you can see that we're recovering water and I'm gonna go right back again. See the demo of this little guy. Eric, we're still uh, we're still testing it right now to see how well it'll it'll operate and stuff. This is we just got it in. I wanted to share it with everybody, so there'll be more more information to come on how well this works. But right now, it it works really good. Um, in my opinion, this is probably going to be great for a lot of small jobs and stuff, depending on how big this surface cleaner can go. This is a twelve. This is twelve inches. Obviously. It's going to be great. You won't have to investment in a vacuum recovery system. Uh, so you can save some upfront costs. So there's going to be a lot of applications for this. They're going to work really good. You could probably take this and put it into a floor drain, inside a building, into a toilet. A lot of different places you can put this to recover wash water, dispose of your wash water as you're cleaning and not having to run hundreds of foot of hose, especially back into facilities and buildings, kitchens things of that nature. Yeah, exactly, Eric, kitchen floor cleaning. It'd be awesome for that. Um, so feel free to reach out to us. We can get these for you at powerwash.com. And looks like Stefan's got a comment. Yes, sir. Okay, one more time. There you go. You can see the water coming out. Yeah. So, so we're at... And on a side note, we're actually doing this demonstration right now inside the new facility for PowerWash.com and PowerWash University. We're still under construction here. Yeah, so the standing water that's there, he's going and picking that up. They just shot down. He's Hopefully you can, you can catch that angle there. So to your question, Tom, um, how dry is the floor? Does it need to be mopped afterwards? Well, do it again over here. Let's do one more spot. Come over here to the right where it's dry. Yeah, so you can see. See right behind it. There it is. See that? Get you the right angle so you can see. Those with experience can see that angle. You can tell how much water it leaves on the surface. It's a little bit. Maybe you want to mop it if you want, if you want to, but for the most part, it's not bad at all. It's it's really good. <laughs> there you go, John Snugs. Yeah, it's slick as snot. Look, it, it's drying up already. 
Right yeah. there, right there, Mike. It's already dried up behind you. Right there, we did that before. Oh, this spot right here? Yeah, yeah that's up. where we hit it a while ago. Yeah, it's already drying. Yeah, if you yeah. watch this for five minutes, there's no residue. Yeah, reach out to us, Danny. We don't have this up on the website today, but I will put it in this video. When I go to share it later, we'll have a link for pricing and all the specs and stuff that go along with it. I got uh, my media guy here, Clyde Hemminger. He writes some articles and stuff. He manages our website, so that'll get up today. So um, you'll uh, you'll be able to get more information I'll, as I share this video out to, to everybody in the groups and stuff. I'll, I'll have pricing added. So there you go. That's today's Washaholic Wednesday. I'm Mike Kinderleiter, the Dean of Power Wash. And in closing, don't be afraid to get out there and get dirty and keep on washing. Take care. Bye-bye.